Nanotrestin really hates this simple trick. Besides the funny skits, this is really just a video breaking down how most apartments on most stations can be pretty much landlocked with no power if you just snip one wire. Of course, you shouldn't just snip the wire like I did and just rush in. You should probably have some form of like plan for actually like taking the wire. Like just leaving the wire there means you can fix the problem instantly. Uh, every substation on every map is completely different. There is no uniform mapping in this game. So most substations don't have an APC inside. This one happens to have that. So I, even if I snipped the medium vultures wire, I couldn't go in and sabotage the substation directly. However, one thing that you could do that's really powerful is snip the medium voltage wire and then just place a floor tile over it so people can't walk in and instantly see, oh yeah, the wires are messed up. They'll see this, and if they don't have a T-Ray scanner with decent lighting, it might take them a minute or so to figure out how to fix this. And really, people don't walk around with medium voltage cables. Even a lot of engineers just don't carry cables, surprisingly. So say you want to break into Box's armory or break somebody out of normal brig. Uh, yeah, Box is extremely easy to sabotage and I'm not going to go through every station substations and wiring I'm just going to cover the securities really quick because I figured it'd be kind of fun and it's really funny to me that a pair of wire cutters and hand banana gloves is all you need to destroy security don't think nanotrust and cares much about safety either so now we're on metastation which is just box's sister station uh you just literally come to this western substation wire snip the catwalk snip the medium voltage wire uh, this won't let you get directly into this airlock, but I suppose you could just destroy the APC first to get in to destroy the substation if you wish. But yeah, this substation is in charge of the armory, the brig, and perma brig. So unlike box station, you actually basically get all the important areas you'd want to hack open. So you can break uh, fellow Cindy or somebody out of perma. If you're a thief, you can get in easy this way. Uh, this saves you a ton of TC again. You just need wire cutters, a crowbar, and a pair of hand banana gloves. Marathon is technically even easier because you only have to snip this wire. You don't even have to snip a catwalk. And you will knock out the western side of maintenance. You will knock out all of the brig. This brig is pretty much the same as Meta's brig in reality. This is kind of pretty much just the same security but smaller. But you knock out all the brig. You knock out the armory. You only got two doors to go to to get in the warden's office and then two more to get in the armory. So this extra doors might slow you down. Obviously, if things are bolted, you can't crowbar them. That's not really the point. You can easily get people out of the brig this way. You can easily get people out of perma this way. And the darkness really makes it hard for security officers to stun you unless they also have flashlights. But it's a lot easier to escape and do things in the dark than people just blatantly staring at you. Plus, if you're freeing people out of prison, you might be able to get some help in a fight or something, whatever the case may be. Core station is literally the same thing. You snip a catwalk, snip a medium voltage wire. And this time, unlike the other stations, all of security will lose power. So you can choose to go through the north part of maintenance over here. Perma is separated by a uh, maintenance hall, so it's really easy to break people out of perma. Uh, you can break into the normal security room, you can break into the head of security room, you can break into the normal brig. The armory is only like two, like two doors deep. However, people do lower, lower these blast doors, they may have to go around, and if they bolt it, then you're out of luck at that point. But there's still plenty of other things you could be doing in security. Oasis is a little bit better about it, I suppose, with hacking it. You do have to actually crowbar it, but you're going to have a crowbar anyway, so no, this actually isn't better at all, I lied. You snip this one medium voltage, you can actually get straight into the substation with this, unanchor the substation, snip the wire under the substation, whatever you gotta do. But yeah, Oasis might be the worst with this, honestly. Uh, pretty much all of security, no, literally all of security loses power. That includes all of the brig cells, the warden loses power, the fucking hop loses power, uh, part of the hallway loses power, and there's no emergency lights, so it's pitch black, and the armory is pretty central in here, so like, you do have to go a pretty long ways if you want to try to get straight to the armory you could go through like these uh you just go through the doors right next to the substation and walk all the way around so i guess it is hard to prison break here because also perma on this map is not even close but if the head of security left anything in his room omega just like the other ones you snip one catwalk snip one medium voltage and just like some of the other stations everything loses power so that means you can just walk into perma walk into the armory remember the lights are going to flicker um, you can't directly get into the substation because it's wired all the way through, so you might want to just decide to hack the door instead, but you only have to wait a few seconds in order to get all the way into security, open the doors, whatever you got to do. Uh, the front doors don't lose power, so keep in mind if you're jailbreaking anyone, you got to go through maintenance.
Bagel's the first map that I'm covering that's a little bit better about this. The substation, the security is actually hidden behind a security door, not a uh, uh, engineering door, so it requires more effort to get into it. But you just snip the y LV, LV cable here, and if you snip that first, I believe, it will unpower it, but sometimes it doesn't seem to unpower it. I was testing this a little bit, but then you just snip it, crowbar it, clicking the wire, and then, uh, as we have been seeing, uh, yeah, all of security will lose power at this point. It'll flicker just like it normally does, but you could get into the armory in seconds because of the uh, time it takes to get here. But if you rush it too quick, you might end up getting stuck between power and getting yourself spotted, so you might want to wait a second. Engineering and power issues in this game are so common that I don't think people immediately think sabotage anymore. I think people normally immediately think incompetent engineering, meteors. Uh, like, if you wait to do this upon a meteor strike and you snip the wire, for example, no one will fucking know that you snipped it. They're going to assume a meteor destroyed, like an SMS or something. If you do it during a power outage, power's already out. They're just going to be waiting for it to come back after the announcement. And if you sabotage the power while you're waiting for the power announcement, people won't know it's sabotaged until after the power comes back and their power didn't come back. Just just some ideas. Packed as a station with more security. Um, due to the way it's wired, the substation is actually like kind of cheating a little bit, and it's feeding to an APC on the other side of the wall in the head of security's office. But you can just hack this door and then snip this L uh, medium voltage cable directly or unanchor the substation, whatever you have to do. But this one does require door hacking, so you do need a screwdriver for this. But also, another thing about Pact is that this substation is far away from uh, any direct entrance. So you can easily just run away and go wait at a proper door. Like if you just wait right here or maintenance or no one can see you, it's easy to get in. You could go through the detective's office, you go through the front door. But uh, yeah, all of security will lose power, but the, the smaller station actually does take a little bit longer for the power to uh, turn off because there's less devices overall, but it still turns off. By the time you run around, the doors will start turning off and you could have covered your tracks and made it hard to detect the sabotage by the time you made it to the door anyway. Train is one of the two stations that I would say is very hard to break into. So if we toggle the subfloor, we can see that the substation for security is actually all the way in security, surrounded by two to three reinforced walls, depending on the side. And there is no way you can get in here without already having hacked several security doors. Because, like, you, this is as far as you can go as a normal person is right here, unless you have security. And you can't really do anything other than, like, get into the detective's office without hacking doors specifically. And, yeah, like, you basically here will have to do normal sabotage, like, blow it up from space, dismantle these walls, and then go for the substation, because that's a lot quieter. Uh, train is pretty much always exposed to space, so that's pretty much a primary option. Yeah, the, I, another thing you could do is snip a high-voltage cable, like, in this train car, and play the long con and wait for the power to go out and hope the power goes out and hope nobody fixes it in time, but there's no way to easily rush it like the other stations. Flynn is another map that has a substation, but this one's even harder to get to than the train station because it's an internal substation. It's attached to the head of security's room. If you try to go through the walls, it's open space, well lit, and part of security. But I guess one benefit here is if you're going through the walls, a sec tech fab is out of the armory on uh, Flynn. But there's no way you could just snip one wire and be all the way in. You can Even if you snip the high voltage cables, the high voltage cables on Fland are also very well wired and redundant. So you'd have to snip both sides, hope no one notices you, and there's just no way you can really rush it without using traditional hacking methods like Emags. Uh, even like Jaws of Lifing in would be tough because there's so many doors. But yeah, uh, Fland, very well wired for security. And last and the newest kit on the block is COG. COG has this substation for the southern part of security, but doesn't really do anything. You don't can't really get anywhere with it. And the main substation is super, super deep in and attached to the armory. So if you're already blowing this up, you might as well go for the armory unless you're a thief. But if you're a thief, you, you've got to come up with a better plan than this. Checking out, uh, taking out the substation power for security is pretty much just not ever going to be a good plan if you're trying to get in quickly. Uh, you have to do the traditional like C4 the walls or EMAG in type of thing. If you EMAG in though, you actually can pretty much get in the armor with only one EMAG because there's two doors and then a fourth door. But again, that's a fourth door, so that still will mess up your plan. So you'd have to probably hack one of the doors if you want to EMAG in quickly. Um, there's no real easy way to rush the armory other than like the traditional use two link C4s from the outside because this is still a spacefaring armory and it's only triple thick, which is not enough to 
like it's still in the 2c4 range anyways also they even have an apc in the armory so you can't just like snip low voltages to get in that way the pretty uh very redundant wiring system which is good for preventing hacking i'm not entirely sure substations are even meant to be mapped like this like this is double door triple wall not exposed to space it doesn't really follow the other map standards with substations like even like Fland and stuff is different maybe it's fine that securities are uh, some securities are extremely easy to break into and some are extremely hard to break into. I mean, it has variety. Either way, I uh, mainly just did this for fun. I thought it was interesting. Thank you for watching. Nano Tresson hates this one. <laughs> Fuck. Nano Tresson really hates this.